I created an export of the student bus information so that you could play around with the data and then do an import from that data. Simply click on Tools, go to Exports, and the export that I created for you is Student Bus Export. Click on it, go to Options, and Run, and it will export all of the active students and their bus data. Once you have the data, simply save it. So I am going to save this into my downloads. I'll call it um, student bus export. And I'll save that. So essentially what happened was it exported all of the student um, bus data with local ID, last name, first name, homeroom, AM bus, PM bus, and bus comment. Um, once I have that data saved, I actually want to change some of that data so that it's reflected in the import. So um, since I'm using a Chromebook, I am going to open up a basic text editor and find my file. Once I locate my file and open it, I'll be able to edit some of the data in it in that file and then save as and import that data. So here's the, the data I want to edit. I actually get a, uh, a text file that I can um, make some changes to. So um, if I want to change Gloria Abbey's data, I can actually say um, uh, student stays with YMCA. And I can come down here to Atticus Ackerman and say uh, grandma picks up on Fridays. And for Victoria Adams, I can say, uh, make sure um, siblings are together. And I can go in and save this as student bus. And I'm going to change it from student bus export to student bus import. And I'll click Save. And then I'm going to actually go into my imports and run my import. So I created a bus import in here called uh, Scenario 1 Bus Import. And when I go to Options and Run, I choose my file. Once my file displays, I can go in and um, open up that file and it'll run that file. So it's student bus import text, open it, run it, and it begins that process of running the job. Um, that should only take a few seconds to complete the job. You can actually go and look at the job details um, and you'll also get a nice little um, splash screen as to what took place. So it actually matched 3,608 records, which are my active students. And it updated three of the students and it skipped one record. And the one record that it skipped was the actual header rows. Um, so that gives me the information about what the results for my import were. So that's how you can um, go in, change some of the data, 
in that text file and then run your own import.